For most people, news of a deadly virus spreading across the globe is terrifying. But for drug companies and researchers, it's a sign to get in the lab and find a cure. Hundreds of organizations have done exactly that, hoping to be the first to find a safe way to defeat coronavirus. And it's created a high stakes international competition, which investors see as a sort of tournament. But organizations aren't even taking part in the same competition. Some are pursuing vaccines while others chase treatments. And while the world will take any help it can get, what winning means depends on who crosses the finish line and what game they were playing to begin with. A vaccine could eliminate the virus, provoking an immune response that keeps people from getting sick altogether. It's also a lot like a board game. It's unique in design, requires an extraordinary amount of research, and winning is clearly defined. In this case, it's an end to coronavirus. While all players must move their vaccine through the same set of phased trials, how they do that depends largely on their strategy. AstraZeneca and the University of Oxford have teamed up to try and create a potential vaccine using a virus found in chimps. It could be ready by October. Novavax is using coronavirus proteins and is an investor favorite. Stock has risen over 3,000%. That might be because the United States gave them a $1.6 billion grant as part of the program Operation Warp Speed to have 100 million doses ready by 2021. Sinovac has made an inactivated vaccine that's in phase three trials in China and Brazil, but has already been licensed to sell this winter. And pharmaceutical giant Pfizer has the resources to hedge their bets by having four vaccines in trials concurrently. If vaccines slash board games cost too much, are too complicated, or take too long, another option is looking at existing drugs to create a treatment for when people do get sick. This is more like playing with a deck of cards. The compounds are familiar, but are being applied in unique ways. Winning a hand doesn't mean you've won the game. It just means you can play again. Researchers have a range of repurposed drugs to try out, from antivirals to steroids to anti-inflammatories they immediately threw out the joker. A hepatitis C drug called remdesivir was found to initially help shorten recovery times for severely ill patients. The FDA gave it an emergency use authorization, but has yet to give it an official approval. The cheap common steroid called dexamethasone was found to reduce mortality in patients who are ventilated or receiving oxygen. The National Institute for Health recommends its use in those cases and an algorithm trained to mine thousands of medical papers for potential leads recommended taking a closer look at baricitinib, a rheumatoid arthritis drug. It's now in phase three trials. With so many people trying to find individual treatments, the best hands might be found later, when treatments can be combined to make something even more effective. As of now, there is no approved vaccine and Remdesivir's manufacturer, Gilead, set the cost of a treatment course at over $3,000, which advocates have called an outrage. Determining a price tag, distribution, and licensing all come after discovering a winning vaccine or a powerhouse treatment. Because in the race for a cure, unlike a game, the finish line is far from the end of things.